Hi, this is workout number five. It is a circuit training workout with three rounds. All you need is a towel and no other equipment. Let's get started with the warm ups. There are four warm ups, everything is 30 seconds each. You're gonna start with high knees, bring those knees up to your chest. That next one is butt kicks. The next one is chair pose, arms straight, keep your heels flat, and you're gonna sit as low as you can. Everything is 30 seconds, make sure your knees are squared up and followed by alternating lunge stretch. You're gonna lunge and lean forward, and lunge and lean forward. Make sure your back knee does not touch the ground. Make sure the front foot is completely flat. So once again, each is 30 seconds deep. Each round is 30 seconds, and we'll start with our workout. The first exercise is pogo scissor jumps with lunges. It's gonna go for 30 seconds. You're doing four scissor jumps followed by a lunge. It's gonna look like this. On the ball, to your feet. One, two, three, four, lunge. 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 You wanna stay light on the balls of your feet and you do that for 60 seconds. The second exercise is a figure four squat. So you have one foot on the ground and you're just for putting the other leg on top like a figure four and you're squatting nice and slow. The, part, the foot that's on the ground is completely flat. It's okay to be wobbly. Look at one spot to maintain that balance. You're doing 30 seconds each leg. If it's hard to maintain balance, have one foot hand against the wall and do a squat like this or hold on to a banister or something and hold, do a squat like that, but 30 seconds each side. The third exercise is forward bound jumps or frog jumps. So you're not jumping high, but like a frog, you're covering as much as ground as possible. So you're gonna go back and forth depending on how much room you have. For 30 seconds, you're gonna rest for 15 and go back for 30. So I'm gonna do a squat and land, turn around, squat and land, turn around, squat and land. So I'll do that for 30 seconds, rest for 15 and go back for 30. This next two exercise, straddle squat and squat holds is a twofer. So you're gonna go the straddle squat for 30 seconds and the squat holds for 30 seconds and you're gonna repeat it. So you're gonna do straddle squats like this. You're staying low, keeping all the body weight on the heel of your feet. You wanna make it harder, have your hands behind your neck. Make sure you're not going up and down like a bouncing too much. You're never supposed to bounce. You wanna feel the glutes and the hamstrings and then hold for 30 seconds. So same thing, I'll show you a side view, straddle squat, you're just gonna go like this straddle, feel the glutes and the hamstrings. You will also feel the burn on your quads. After 30 seconds, you're gonna hold for 30 seconds. You're doing this twice, and if you want, you can recover for 20 seconds between each round. This next two exercises is a push-up into plank. It's again a twofer. You're gonna do back-to-back -back 30 seconds, and then you're gonna take 20 seconds off and then go back again one more time. I'm gonna give you several modifications of this one. This is gonna be the hardest one. You're gonna do push-ups with feet on the bench, and you're just gonna go like this for 30 seconds, followed by plank, same knee to same elbow, for 30 seconds, make sure your hands are directly over your shoulders. If that is hard, modification two, you can just do simple push-ups or you can do push-ups on your knees, followed by same knee to same elbow, same knee to same elbow. And modification three, you can do push-ups on a higher surface like this. You can also have the chest touch the bench or your bed or your couch, followed by same knee to same ankle. Have fun. The next exercise is a lat pull down. I'm gonna do two variations again. Uh, if you know me, if you do a push, you gotta do a pull. You can't just do one without the other. So use the towel. If you have a higher surface like this, that's perfect. Um, now, ideally I would like something higher, but I don't have that, so I'm gonna show you this. It may look like a squat, but I am doing a lat pull down. So I'm gonna take a towel, it's a medium length towel. I'm, I'm Pretty, pretty much squatting, and then I'm gonna fan out the towel while I stick my chest out, shoulders back, squeeze my shoulder blades. I'm stopping at my chest and bringing my arms straight up. I'm rounding my arms, squeezing my shoulder blades, and bringing my arms straight up. I am working my lats just like that. It may feel like a squat, but you're actually working your lats. If you feel like that's ineffective, this one too is gonna work really well. You just wanna lay on the mat, or your bed, or the floor, Make sure there's tension on your towel. You don't have to use a towel if you don't have one. Arm straight, take it to your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades and bring it straight out. And take the towel to your chest, 
squeeze your shoulder blade and bring it straight out. It may feel like a shoulder press. Make sure you are doing like a semicircle, squeezing, holding it, and taking it out. Your next exercise is a lateral bear crawl into a plank combo. You will do the bear crawl for 30 seconds and the plank combo, combo for 30 seconds and then you would uh, take a break for 15 if you want and go back again 30-30. So I'll show you once again, lateral bear crawl. You want to be in a quadruped position, shoulders directly over your hands. Make sure your knees are almost grazing the floor. You're going to go nice and slow like this, back and forth, keeping your core tight for 30 seconds. The plank combo, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hands should always be over, shoulders should always be directly over your hands. Squeeze your glutes. If that's hard, you can just hold a plank position like this or hold a plank position like this. But you're doing this twice. 30 seconds bear crawl, 30 seconds plank combo, and then rest, recover for 15 and do it again. So the last exercise, you're gonna finish up with a little bit of conditioning, a cardio element. You're gonna do shuffle into sprints. You're gonna for 30 seconds. You can go five yards, seven yards, however much room you have. So you can shuffle, 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 turn and sprint, shuffle, 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 turn and sprint, shuffle, 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 turn and sprint. That's gonna be for 30 seconds. If you're tired, recover for 15. Then you're gonna switch it up, sprint, Shuffle, 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 sprint, shuffle, 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 shuffle. That is the end of your workout. I hope you enjoy it. Have fun.